It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fast. It's gonna be factual. And TGIF. Right, my friends? All my references will be listed in the description box below. Let's get started. Cause like, I can't, it can't be fast if I like do a whole long intro, right? Yeah, okay. Your epidermis is showing. It is? That's right, friends. That old playground joke just meant that your skin was showing. What is your epidermis? Well, it's the outermost layer of your skin. Now, the epidermis in itself has four layers that comprise it. Its number one goal, protection. Now, if your epidermis was to write a resume, it would have to list that one of its qualities is that it waterproofs your body. Number two, it protects you from invading bacteria. And then you know that area where it says like special skills? It would be the ability to regenerate. Why do you want to know what I'm about to tell you? Well, what I'm about to tell you might not be that interesting to you unless you're a science nerd like me. However, next week's video is gonna build on what we're talking about today. And to really understand that, you're gonna need to pay attention today. So let's get started. The epidermis is composed of keratinized, stratified, squamous epithelium. Oh my gosh. Yes, there's gonna be a dictionary time right now. So where should we start? The epithelium. What does that mean? It means tightly packed cells. All right, and what are those cells? So in the epidermis, you're gonna find four types of cells. We're only really gonna be talking about one today. So I'm gonna mention them all, but I'm gonna breeze past a few of them. So the first one and the most important is the keratinocytes. Okay. What does that mean? It means horny cells or horn-like cells that are composed of keratin, which is a tough, fibrous protein. Now, there are also Langerhorn cells, melanocytes, and Merkel cells, but that's a whole nother topic for maybe another video if you guys are interested. Let's keep going. The very bottom layer of the epidermis is called the stratum basale. This is composed of a single row of cuboidal cells. Now, some of these cells are stem cells. And if you remember from the epidermis's resume, that ability to regenerate, that's where it's happening. It's called mitosis. It's the ability of one thing being able to become two. The reason that's cool and you would list it under like special skills on your resume is that not all cells in the body regenerate once they're damaged or killed. The heart doesn't regenerate. The brain doesn't regenerate. The kidneys don't regenerate. Don't hurt those cells in your body. However, in the stratum basale, okay, because they can regenerate. Next, we have the stratum spinosum. This is eight to 10 layers of keratinocytes. That is composed of eight to 10 layers of these keratinocytes that have moved up from the stratum basale. And what they're doing is providing strength and flexibility to the skin. Thank you, stratum spinosum. Then we have the stratum granulosum. This is three to five layers of keratinocyte. These are keratinocytes that started in the basale, moved up to the spinosum, now they're at the granulosum, and here's what's happening now, is they're actually undergoing something called apoptosis. Don't you wanna just say that all the time? Like, hey, apoptosis. Actually what that means is cell death. So basically those skin cells are dying and they're dead. So what is cool about this layer is that there's a liquid rich secretion in between these cells 
that is a water repellent sealant that is preventing water loss, but also preventing water entry. The very last layer, something that we've talked about before, is the stratum corneum. This is 25 to 30 layers of dead keratinocytes. Yeah, I know, like dead skin, 25 to 30 layers of it. It's continually being slothed off. Now the process from the cells beginning in the basale to getting sloughed off and becoming the dust in your home, again, full circle, is about 30 to 35 days. Now, even though the stratum corneum is composed of dead skin cells, there is still some of that lipid rich secretion providing water repellent to the rest of the environment. Here's why I'm even bringing any of this up. We spend a lot of time and money in the beauty industry getting rid of this dead skin. So what I want to talk about next week is chemical exfoliation. Tune in. I'm so excited.